Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, you will learn how to join two hoodie raw tables using Spark SQL and essentially perform exploratory data analytics. So let's get started with the video. So before we get started, let's basically answer the question, what is Spark SQL and what are the advantages of using Spark SQL? Spark SQL is a powerful tool to process structured data in a distributed computing environment. Using Spark SQL, you can perform joins on large data sets in a highly scalable and an efficient way. One of the biggest advantages of using Spark SQL based join is you can process the data in parallel in cluster of machines. This way, it significantly reduces the time to process the data, making it an ideal choice for big data processing. Without any further ado, let's get started with the hands-on lab. Here, basically, I'm declaring all the imports. So I'm going to run the cell. Here, I'm defining the Spark session. As you can see, the Spark session has now been created. Now, I have a very simple Python function called get dummy data. This Python function will return dummy data for the customer and the order table. If you observe the function for number of samples, meaning how many data points I want to generate, it's going to basically generate some order data and then it's going to generate some customer data. Order, order data will have an order ID, customer ID, timestamp, order value and the priority, whether it's low, medium or urgent. The customer table will hold information about the customers, such as name, city, state, email, and the customer ID. This is a simple function, which is going to perform an upsert on a hoodie transactional data lake. Here you can see this function will take following attributes. It takes a database name, a table name, a record ID, pre-com key, a spark data frame, which I want to perform an upsert, the table type, and the method. As you can see, the settings are pretty standard. Here I define the path, which is dynamic. And these are the placeholder for the database name and the table name. Here I define the hoodie table name. I define the table type as copy and write, the record ID, the table ID, table name, the method, and the pre-com key. And at the end, from line 21 to line 24, we perform an upsert on a hoodie transactional data lake. Now let's perform an upsert on a hoodie transactional data lake. All right, hopefully you guys can see my screen. On line number one here, as you can see, I'm calling the function get dummy data. This will return me a list of dictionary for the order data and the customer data. Then I create two Spark data frame. As you can see on line number three, I create Spark data frame for the orders. On line number four, I create the Spark data frame for customers. I'm calling the function upsert hoodie table and I'm passing in all the details. And here on this one, line 16, I'm essentially calling again the same function and performing an upsert for the order table. So now I will have two hoodie tables, which is customer table, which will hold customer information and the order table, which will hold the information about the orders. Uh, these are the two hoodie tables I have. That is the order table and the customer table. I just wanted to show you that. So the order, the order table will have an order ID, a customer ID, which is a reference key timestamp, order value, and a priority, whether the order is low, medium, or high. The customer table will hold information about a, about a customer, such as name, city, state, email, and a timestamp. Now we are going to create a two temp view. So here you can see on line number one and two, these are the path to my hoodie transactional data lake. Here on line number four, I'm creating or a temp view called hoodie snapshot customers. And on line 14, I'm creating a snapshot for the order table. Now that I have a snapshot, now I can write a simple Spark SQL query. I am going to do a join and let's do some exploratory data analytics. The first question I'm trying to uh, answer is how many orders I have received with respect to state. I want to do a count of total number of orders grouped by state. So let's see how to do that. All right. Here you can see on line number three, I'm, I'm having a Spark SQL query. As you can see, we are selecting the state from the customer table and we are doing a count on the order ID. So here you can see I'm doing that from the order tables and essentially I'm performing a simple inner join. As you can see, I'm joining both the tables and I'm doing that on the customer ID, as you can see. And then I'm essentially grouping by state I'm ordering by total orders, descending and limit five. After that, I execute the Spark SQL query on line number 13. Then I convert the Spark SQL 
uh, data frame into a pandas data frame and I'm using a library called Seaborn and matplotlib to plot my results. And here you can see on the x-axis I have state and on the y-axis I have total number of orders. The next question I'm trying to answer is uh, the total order value with respect to state. So this could be done in the following way. Here as you can see I'm selecting the state from the customer table and I'm performing a sum, sum on the total order value. And again, I'm doing a very simple join uh, on the orders and the customer table, and I'm essentially doing a group by state and ordering by the order value descending and limit five. Then pretty straightforward on line 14, I execute the Spark SQL, then I convert the Spark data frame into a pandas and using Seaborn, I'm doing the plot. And this is the output of the, you know, the, the code cell. As you can see from Washington, I have received the total order value is about close to 3000 US dollar and followed by New Hampshire, Iowa, Vermont and Oklahoma. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the video and I hope you have learned how you can essentially join two hoodie tables using Spark SQL and perform exploratory data analysis. In the upcoming next videos, I'll cover some more complex topics such as incremental ETL and other design patterns. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Keep smiling, keep programming. The exercise notebook can be found on my blog. And if you have any question, please make sure to add your question in the comment box. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you in the next video.